you're an IT manager that has or is considering endpoint detection response services like Sentinel One, CrowdStrike, Carbon Black, BlackBerry, Silence, Huntress, because industry buzz, Google searches, your parent company or your insurance company have told you you need an endpoint detection response system or an EDR solution for modern secure endpoint protection. And you're vaguely aware that Microsoft has an EDR service called Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint has has two versions, Plan 1 and Plan 2. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2 is Microsoft's top EDR service built for large companies with up to 100,000 plus users. But you're probably not aware that Microsoft has another EDR offering that is very similar to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2 for businesses with up to 300 users, and that is Microsoft Defender for Business. And here's what's crazy. From talking to around 300 new prospective clients every year, you're either using Microsoft 365 Business Standard or Office 365 E3 or Microsoft 365 E3 for Exchange Online email and getting users the subscription version of the Office desktop apps. And that's as far as you've gone with your Microsoft 365 integration. Sometimes you guys are talking to me about now getting your files moved up into Microsoft 365, but you know you are completely underutilizing your Microsoft 365 licenses. And you're not aware that you're just one Microsoft 365 license adjustment away from having the security capabilities of Microsoft's top EDR system in Microsoft Defender for Business, which is Microsoft's AI and machine learning cloud connected endpoint detection and response system integrated into Microsoft 365 and Azure Active Directory Premium. It is a direct peer competitor to all those other EDR services I mentioned earlier and others like FireEye, Palo Alto, Cortex, Sophos, Intercept, Forta EDR. Do you think that Microsoft with 180,000 employees across the world uses Sentinel One or CrowdStrike? Of course they don't. Do you think Microsoft, whose IT security systems you use as an IT manager daily, such as Windows Server AD and Azure AD, is firmly in the business of modern IT security systems? Of course they are. Microsoft protects their 180,000 plus endpoints with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2. Take a look at this feature list between Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2 and Microsoft Defender for Business. They are nearly identical. And Microsoft Defender for Business is half the cost of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2. And here's what most of you don't know. While you can buy Microsoft Defender for Business by itself, Microsoft Defender for Business comes included with Microsoft 365 Business Premium, which then allows us to integrate additional security services that are also included with Microsoft 365 Business Premium, such as Microsoft Defender for Office 365 Plan 1 for email link scanning and file detonation, and Microsoft Intune for device configuration, app configuration, and compliance confirmation, and Azure Active Directory Premium Plan 1 for conditional access and single sign-on. And when we integrate these security features together, we upgrade our IT security further from Endpoint Detection Response, or EDR, to Extended Detection Response, or XDR, where we have multiple layers of security services working in Microsoft 365 Business Premium as a single system, where we ensure we have healthy, secure endpoint devices connecting to your IT systems, uncompromised valid user identities connecting from those healthy devices, and clean, secured company data easily and quickly and securely accessible, encrypted in the Microsoft Cloud, encrypted on the devices that access and hold that data, and encrypted in transit between the cloud and that device, and firmly under our control. Our clients that have Microsoft 365 Business Premium, which is most of our 200 plus clients, already have Microsoft Defender for Business deployed and protecting them as a full XDR solution. And for the cost and prices, it goes like this. And please note, Microsoft 365 licensing and pricing is complex, and I'm gonna be using simple round number list prices here to give you a ballpark idea on cost. If you just wanna implement an EDR solution as an add-on to your existing Microsoft 365 business standard, Microsoft 365 E3, or your Office 365 E3 or E5 license, you can add Microsoft Defender for Business for $36 per user per year, which is the equivalent of $3 per user per month. But here's the thing, why would you stop there when you are so close to doing this the right way? And I'm talking about upgrading from an EDR solution to a full XDR solution. 
If you want full XDR, top of the line, modern IT security and stability for your company, the type of security Microsoft themselves use for their 180,000 user global company, and you yourself don't need more than 300 licenses, you should just upgrade to Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Upgrading from Microsoft 365 Business Standard to Microsoft 365 Business Premium is a cost increase of about $11 per user per month and gives us way more than modern XDR for that $3 per user per month price point. So in reality, we can get that EDR for $3 and then we get all this other stuff for an additional $8 per user per month. So for that total additional $11 per user per month, you get a complete cloud IT infrastructure for your emails, files, phones, app, security management. And I'm gonna come back and talk more detail on that shortly. Upgrading from Office 365 E3 is a cost decrease of $1 per user per month. Upgrading from Microsoft 365 E3 to Microsoft 365 Business Premium is a cost decrease of $17 per user per month. If you have Microsoft 365 E5, just stay where you're at. You have the best, most modern, most secure IT system that Microsoft makes and includes everything you can get in Microsoft 365. You have all the goodies. You have all the IT toys and features. I salute the fact you didn't cheap out on your IT, which is what I see IT managers do all the time because they don't know what they don't know. What your problem is with Microsoft 365 E5 when I run into you guys is that you bought that subscription knowing it is the best and most expensive that Microsoft makes at a month to month price of $68 per user per month, but you aren't doing anything with all that sophisticated XDR security tech you own. You haven't confidently deployed Intune, if at all. You haven't Azure AD enrolled your company computers, and you have super basic conditional access policies, if at all. Again, not confidently deployed. You haven't configured Insider Threat Management, which is a very powerful service, and something not included, Microsoft 365 Business Premium. You don't have Microsoft Defender for Identity configured. You don't have basic features of Microsoft Purview Compliance configured. The list goes on and on. I see this nearly 100% of the time. I'm sure you bought it thinking you'd get around to getting all that tech integrated because you're smart and you learn things fast. But the reality is that being an internal IT manager means you're never going to get the training experience of deploying these systems over and over to get the confidence to do these integrations. And you surely can't afford the career risk of making your first deployment the only network you work on, the one network you must keep stable and secure to justify your high salary requirements and cushy white collar job. And that's where a company like Zerillion comes in, a company who only designs, integrates, and supports Microsoft 365 and Azure cloud systems. We can take you somewhere, but before we get into that, let me show you this. If you move to Microsoft 365 Business Premium, in addition to getting a full XDR security capability, it includes a bunch of things that are very important. Azure Active Directory Premium Plan 1 is included. That is a $7 per user per month a la carte add-on. I see so many of you with this license added on to a Microsoft 365 Business Standard or Business Basic or Office 365 E3 license for again around $7 per user per month and you aren't doing anything with it. I think most of you think you need it for MFA, which you don't, or that you think you're going to use it with conditional access or single sign-on, maybe but those things are never configured. It's always sitting there wasting the company's money and it looks good because it says premium. You don't want the free version of Azure Active Directory, you want the premium version, but you're not doing anything with it. With Azure Active Directory Premium Plan 1, we will configure MFA with conditional access rules to access Microsoft 365 cloud services. We're gonna say, in addition to that user passing multi-factor authentication, these other conditions must be true, i.e. conditional access. Azure Active Directory Premium also gives us the capability to move beyond entering passwords all over the place to moving to passwordless login with MFA at the Windows computer. So this is when a user either puts in a facial scan, a fingerprint read, and those things are very inexpensive to add onto a desktop computer. And you should just be purchasing those with a laptop. But we have a biometric and then we have that that biometric only works with that device. And you can even set up a pin. And even that pin that user uses only works on that device. And that pin is not, the pin can be used to access that user's Azure Active Directory account. But by using Windows Hello at the Windows computer level, we can now use Windows Hello for business integrated with Azure Active Directory so that user either does a biometric or a pin onto that device 
And then that user then logs into their Microsoft 365 cloud services using a public private key combination and no passwords are ever sent back and forth. You do not need Cisco dual for this, which I see so many of you using because you're just not familiar with how Azure Active Directory Premium and Windows Hello for Business works. Azure Active Directory Premium also gives us self-service password reset. Azure Active Directory Premium also allows users to roam with personalized profile settings from computer to computer by using OneDrive on that computer and we'll store those in Azure Active Directory. Also, Azure Active Directory Premium allows us to store a user's Windows BitLocker recovery key up in their account. So when we configure a system, we configure it so through Intune, we push out a configuration policy for Windows BitLocker, so all the devices are protected and encrypted for lost or stolen computer protection. But if they ever need to be recovered, that is stored automatically in that user's Azure Active Directory account, which is an Azure Active Directory premium feature. And then there's single sign-on for third-party web apps. And then also, if there is an account that multiple users need to share, you can give them access to that account without giving them the username and password. That's all Azure Active Directory Premium components. Microsoft 365 Business Premium also includes Microsoft Intune, which does a huge lift for your IT system and is a $9 per user per month add-on. You get computer configuration management, mobile device management, device compliance, app management, data controls on devices. You can have imageless cloud-connected computer setups. You have Microsoft Autopilot, where you can just have computers sent to people you can just order them and have them sent without you ever receiving them. And that user pulls the computer out of the box, logs in the computer, and it just starts building the computer for the user. They don't even have to be a local administrator. And Microsoft 365 Business Premium includes Microsoft Defender for Office 365 Plan 1, which is a $2 per user per month add-on. You guys usually have third-party services for this, like Barracuda, Mimecast, Proofpoint. It provides email link protection and also file detonation for files that come through in emails as attachments and files that are uploaded by users to OneDrive, Teams, and SharePoint. It is zero-day threat protection. It is detonation of those files after they've passed through the common virus scanning engine. And as we talked about earlier, Microsoft 365 Business Premium includes Microsoft Defender for Business, which is a $3 per user per month add-on. This is endpoint detection response, which we talked about earlier, but it's also URL and network connection filtering, which you get through Microsoft Defender Network Protection, which is a component of Microsoft Defender for Business. This is where any network level connection made on your computers, no matter where they are in the world, is scanned for malicious website connections or connections that are going to suspicious websites. And of course, it also can take care of categories, things we wouldn't want or wouldn't be appropriate on a company computer, like porn or gambling websites. But again, that protection stays with that computer no matter where it goes. And Microsoft 365 Business Premium includes Microsoft Teams audio conferencing. So, so many of you guys are using Zoom, RingCentral, or WebEx, GoToMeeting. You should be using Teams, but if you want to add in the ability for users to connect into a Teams meeting through the public telephone network so they can dial in, that's a $2 a la carte add-on for other subscriptions. It's included in Microsoft 365 Business Premium. And then you get Microsoft Information Protection with Microsoft Purview. It's the equivalent of putting security groups digitally onto documents or emails, so they're protected no matter where they go in the world. You also get a 1.5 terabyte email archiving folder, which is also something you have to pay an add-on for in other subscriptions. Each user gets a 50 gig mailbox and a 1.5 terabyte email archive folder. Well, so many of you are using Barracuda or Mimecast to store that email in an archive, you'll just have it with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. And then we can set rules saying, based on the, the mailbox size or based on the age of emails, those emails get moved into the archive folder. And if you ever need to do some big deep search for emails, you just go into the web version of Outlook, do it there, and it's super fast, rather than trying to bog down Outlook on your computer, trying to synchronize and maintain all that stuff. With Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you also get universal print. You get a print server. You don't need a print server anymore, but some of you have 30, 40, printers on the network and you want to be able to just see them, click on the one and just have it automatically added. That's universal print. And so you have that as a $5 add-on in a a la carte subscription. It is included with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. And then lastly, you have litigation hold and e-discovery. That is also a $7 per user per month a la carte add-on with other subscriptions. So I just went over useful, practical Microsoft 365 services. None of them are fluff. They are things you absolutely need that if you purchase them as add-ons or through a third-party service would be around $35 per user per month. So if you upgrade from Microsoft 365 Business Standard, you get 
$35 per user per month of tech for $11 per user per month. And that includes an XDR security system, which is what we started this whole video with originally. If you upgrade from Office 365 v3, you get $35 per user per month of tech for a cost savings of $1 per user per month. If you upgrade from Microsoft 365 E3, you get $35 per user per month of tech for a cost savings of $17 per user per month. And if you currently have a long list of separate third-party services and vendors, like I mentioned in this video, you'll no longer have all these vendors, services, and contracts to manage which means the thousands of dollars a year the company spends on IT salaries with the personnel to manage these things will now be used for higher value, more interesting work to the IT people and higher value work for the company. And those are all just hard number items. How about the real serious soft number items? Well, look, there's the super boring topic of revenue increases from higher employee productivity due to a smoother, more secure IT system. Totally soft number. That has been talked about since the age of the dinosaurs in IT. But it is a real factor. If you have a smoother system with less problems, people can get more done and they're less frustrated. Also, there's the incremental reduction in IT overhead and management expenses since cloud systems are highly scalable and require less management the more people you add into them. And this one's for the IT managers out there, people near and dear to my heart. There is the reduction in IT overhead and inefficiencies from reduced IT personnel churn created by a lower stress, more interesting IT work environment. And that's a real thing. Now, so far we've been talking about the monthly costs. These systems need to be integrated and there are one-time project costs to properly integrate all the Microsoft 365 security and management service that I've talked about so far. Now, you just wanna put in Microsoft Defender for business as an add-on to your lower tier subscriptions and call it a day, you can do that. You're probably looking at a thousand bucks to get that done. But again, why would you stop there? You're so close to doing this right. And we do it right and we do it one time. If you do all these other things I was talking about with a properly configured Microsoft 365 Business Premium or Microsoft 365 E3 subscription, you're gonna be looking at one-time costs in the range of 10 to $20,000. Again, one time. But if you have the budget to do it and do it right, the good news is that it isn't a project you do every five years. Once it's done, it's done. Once we put in cloud systems, we don't refresh them. We don't put in new hardware. We don't upgrade the software. So it isn't something you have to budget on again and again and again. I tell people all the time, once we get into Microsoft 365 properly, we're never gonna come back and do this project again. After the integration is done, it's just an ongoing monthly process of monitoring, remediation, and tweaking like any other IT system. And that does require internal or external managed service processes but no hardware to refresh, no software to upgrade. And a properly designed, implemented, and supported Microsoft 365 Business Premium or Microsoft 365 E5 system is the smoothest, most enjoyable IT system to manage and operate. From the company ownership perspective, the end user perspective, and the IT managers who operate and manage all that. You'll have everything you need with Microsoft 365 Business Premium, which is what I highly recommend as it is Microsoft's best bang for the buck. You can get up to 300 licenses before you have to start purchasing enterprise licenses like Microsoft 365 E5. If you're interested to talk about implementing the powerful features inside of Microsoft 365 Business Premium or Microsoft 365 E5 or portions of those with a proper, professional, holistic configuration, you can go to our website, check us out there at zerillion.com. And if you're interested, fill out the contact form, or you can email us support at zerillion.com, or you can call us 847-995-9800. Thanks for watching the video.